We're letting the tension off of the springs right now. We have the leaf, the body supported on that jack right there. And I'm letting this one down on the axle and it's really creaking and moaning. They look so different right now. <laughs> the jack's gonna max out there, Tyler. There's never been that much space between there. <laughs> okay, take two, because it sagged down so much that we weren't gonna be able to get the leaf spring pack out. So we went higher. Well, it's out. Good thing we had jack front and rear. Hey, it's not even on the block in the center. I nearly broke my brake hose off. <laughs> wow. The jack slipped off of it. Well, it started going faster than what I wanted it to do with that control. But yeah. then the jack popped out from underneath there. About five foot long. Yeah, something like that. Five foot bar with a one inch socket adapter welded on the end of it. You have to pull with the wire push. Yeah, here we go. It's turning. Now that that nut is broke loose with the big breaker bar, um, I've stepped up to a four foot bar with the three quarter inch dry ratchet. It's still a bear, but I'm gonna get it going here. Okay. Broken free at least now. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're knocking the plate off right now. There it is. That's the shackle pin bolt worn through like that. Ready? Yep. flaps. Hmm, that's gonna be harder on the other side. Apparently I did the easy ones first. Remember when I said those were captive? <laughs> Where's that big block of wood? Is it not being used? It's right here. It's under the spring. Oh. It'll be fine. Well, let's hope the muffler bracket would save me. Maybe go down with it. Okay, coming down. More? Yeah. 
It's all the way off. Go up just a little. Basically just holding on the front bolt right here. Let me let the jack down. Yeah, go see, ahead and let it down. Seemed like it was one to go. Jack's all the way down. Go back up. No, it'll go here in just a second. Once I find it. You want me to move the jack over that side so it's something to support it? Uh yeah, that way we don't hit the exhaust. That may down a little bit I should probably move my jack over because that's as far down as it goes where it's at uh, I think so. you're gonna want to lower it out of the bus Why don't you open the transmission door so we can have better access? Are they calling your phone? Uh, hang on. All right, it's probably get close the... to that jack. Probably put the floor jack under there. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Back it out a little bit. Right there. I mean, that's a considerable groove in there on all of them. I don't know if the camera's really going to show it very well, but yeah, that shows it. Okay. Can you keep it from right on now? Ready? Yep. That steel is very hot, even with welding gloves. You're gonna hit the muffler clamp I'm about to have. I think you're hitting it now. Yeah. Okay, we're bottomed out there. Now we can get that side all set up there and where it goes. Yeah, that really pulled it over good. Well, we got it all done. And what I did not expect, I figured I had a couple options. Number one, it was gonna be the same. Number two, it was gonna be better. 
never occurred to me it was gonna be worse. So we put out these springs on here. I used to be able to get three fingers in between the body and the tire, and now I'm about a finger and a half. So this side I can just barely finger in there like that. The other side, it's not a weight issue. There's actually more weight on this side of the bus, but look at this side of the bus. I can get my fist in there. Um, so we can fist on this side and finger on the other side. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get new leaf springs over there. Sage's used springs, his bus sat about three, maybe four inches higher than mine. Yes, his bus is a little bit lighter than mine, probably about 6,000 pounds lighter. Um, but by the time you divide that amongst the axles and because my other side is so high and this side is so low, never would have thought that it would have been bad like that. I, you know, I, I thought I'd get a couple inches of lift out of it for sure. So a full day's work, full day, a full day's work. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to go back at it again. But at least now I've got the springs off, I can take them to the spring shop and they can measure them and rebuild them. And uh, I don't think they're gonna re-arch them, but uh, you know, if they can just, whatever, try the cheap route, just wasted a day's labor to learn that it doesn't, it didn't work. So he's even saggier now than he was. So I did not expect worse outcome. I thought for sure, same or better. Crazy day. So here's my old leaf spring. We got a guy coming out. He's going to measure it from Black's Spring in Ohio, and they're going to rebuild it uh, correctly. And we'll have a new one to put on. It's just going to be a, uh, about three to four weeks before we get it back. One thing is that I had looking at these ends of these springs. I just thought that these leaves were square cut like that. Um, and then Chris was looking at it, he goes, that looks like breaks. And when you look at it closer, yeah, every single one of them is broken at the end because they used to, the one here has the, the cut, the tapered end where, you know, it's skinnier and rounded. And the other end of that leaf does not. Every, every other leaf on here is broken like that. The ends are broken off of every single one. And like I said, they're not cut, they're they look like brakes, and Chris was right. So anyways, new spring is coming, and then uh, I'm going to take the bus down to Tennessee, and uh, I'm not going to drive it until I get the new spring made to put back on it. Don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride. You know, plenty of the silver sides. Get that bus grease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound. It's that bus grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus grease monkey down the road. Watch that bus grease monkey do his thing. Thirty years behind that barn, cause it don't run worth a darn. Watch that bus grease monkey make it sing. He knows in Detroit there's no doubt upside down and inside out. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? He's moved his family to the hills of Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. When he travels town to town looking on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in old Lily the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? 
Santa's grease monkey, don't you know? 